YouTube, what's going on? A lot of people be asking me. They be like, Andrew, man, what on earth do you be doing at home all this time? I be chilling. Then I be make, making money on the side. But um, today what I'm doing is I'm working on somebody's computer. They um, they want me to take off the stock cooler off the CPU and install this new cooler right here. They bought them a, um, what is this thing called? Hyper 212 Evo, Evo stock cooler. They want me to take off the Intel stock cooler and put a new one on so they can do some overclocking. And I'm also working on my own laptop so when I get back in my truck, I can uh, continue to make videos. What I'm doing with my laptop, I just installed 16 gigabytes of RAM. I got two hard drives right here, both uh, 1,000 gigabytes. I don't think it's going to focus. Let me see if I can. Yeah, y'all can kind of see it. I got 1,000 gigabytes right there. And I got, this right here is only uh, 640 gigabytes. This right here was already in there. And then the one installed right here. Is also one one thousand gigabytes, aka one terabyte, if you want to say that. So I'm putting two terabytes in here, sixteen gigabytes of RAM. I already got that installed. Taking out this six hundred and forty uh, gigabyte hard, hard drive. This is where all them throwback videos be coming from. As y'all know, after I get done recording, I put the videos on my laptop. And uh, what else am I doing? I got to replace this battery. Does the battery? Battery is gone dead. It don't even work no more unless the laptop is uh constantly running. So I gotta take that off. Get it. I gotta. I gotta go on Amazon and eBay and replace it. Give me a new one. Probably gonna cost about forty five dollars. Uh, what else am I doing? I think that's all the work needed to be done for this one. This is my laptop. It's a uh, ASUS G seventy three JH. Cost about a thousand dollars when I bought it back in two thousand ten. I don't know what they go for nowadays. Uh, it's only a first gen i7, but because I'm a computer engineer, I can. Uh, I was able to uh, open up my laptop, change some things around, and uh, keep it running for the past six years. Keep it running the way I needed to run to keep up with technology. But uh, anyways, over here we got a full desktop. I put all this in. I put all this in. I put in the motherboard, this RAM. This fan right here, the fan's up top. He didn't want to do water cooling, he wanted to do air cooling. I put in this power source right here. Oh, God, I need to take off this RAM stick right quick. I just got done cleaning the CPU off. Like I said, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to put in this new uh, stock cooler right here. Just got through cleaning it off with some alcohol. Hard drives go in right here. I like, I like this, uh, this case right here. This is what a desktop hard drive looks like. What is this, a thousand? Is this one terabyte? Uh, what does it say? It's, uh, I don't know, it don't say. It says 160 gigabytes, but I don't know if that's right. I don't know if. I don't know if they would come that much. He got another one right here. I think this one plugged up. This one ain't plugged up, so maybe that's old. DVD drive go up here. A lot of people are annoyed it's hard to build a computer. You don't need no degree. You really don't even need to go to school. I know a lot of people go to school. I think it, I was in school for it. Take about maybe six to eight years. To become a computer engineer, I was only in school for two years, and I mean, I didn't even get a degree. And uh, I mean, it really just comes from teaching yourself. It's kind of like truck driving. You know, a lot of people can go to community college or um, go to road masters, pay about ten thousand, or you can just find somebody with a truck, hop in with them, and they'll show you everything. <laughs> That's kind of how I learned it, but. uh this is what I be doing in my spare time. You know what I'm saying? People be coughing up money. I might put some ads up. And uh, the money come to me. 
The money just come to me. That's what I'm doing now. Anyways, uh, what am I doing now? Like I said, cleaned off the CPU. Put that back in place in just a second. About to put this heat sink on. Got to put that black back plate on. So I'm going to need to flip this around right quick. Give me a second. I got to pause this video. Alright, YouTube. So, I'm going to stand up. Got the computer, the desktop, flipped over on the side. This is where all the wiring go. Of course, it goes in the back. And uh, I got to install this back plate right here onto the motherboard. We got my screws and everything I need right here, my thermal paste. I'm about to put this back plate on. Once I get the screws in, I'll show you what it looks like. It ain't too much to see. Get that lined up right there. That's what it's looking like so far. YouTube. Finally got the back plate on. It took me about two hours. Um, the hardest part was... I didn't want to take off this motherboard about the case because it would have involved unscrewing these tiny little screws. So what I had to do in order to get this back plate on, I had to put these four screws in right here, 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 and here. Basically, I had to flip this thing upside down like this. See them four screws right there on the outside? Let me point to them so you know what I'm talking about. I had to basically hold the case like this, put that screw in, and try to screw this 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 little nut thing through the back plate. So it took about an hour, like I said, a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Now that I got the back plate on, I actually need to tighten this up. I need to go find me a screwdriver right quick. I got my little small tools right here. Let me see what they didn't gave me. This look like it'll work right here. Yeah, this right here work. I'm gonna sit that on each one of them. Give me a screwdriver and tighten these up, these bolts. Then I'm gonna flip the computer back around and we can get in, get into installing the actual CPU tool. I'm gonna have to overcharge him. This is doing too much right here. I ain't even worked on my own laptop over here, but that's all right. We're making all kinds of money tonight. Got my screwdriver going here. I'll just tighten that one. Put this one right. Can you see what I'm doing? Like I said, you don't need to go to school for this. You don't need to go to school for it at all. Make a whole lot of money for nothing. A lot of people be like, but don't engineering degrees pay more? Why didn't you, uh... Why you didn't be a computer engineer? Why you didn't do this? Why you didn't do that? It's because I know the money at son. Money is not in the working for other people. It's in the working for yourself. They got to bring me the computer and bring me the money. I do the work right here in my own house. Make all kinds of money on the side quick thousand dollars for no reason that ain't how much I'm getting paid though <laughs> I charge about an hour tighten this up nice and tight now he could have did this himself but a lot of people ain't got no confidence in themselves. what they'll do is they'll say some, something like this they'll be like I want somebody professional to do it I want, uh, I want the shop to do it Cause I know it's gonna be right if the shop do it, but in reality, all you're doing is screwing some damn screws together. You can't really mess it up. It's only four screws. You just put the screws through the hole and screw it with this screwdriver. I mean, you're really getting ripped off. I don't see why you couldn't do it at the house. Cause I mean, don't you think I gotta do it at my house? Shoulda did it at your house, son. But that's how people are nowadays. Ain't nothing wrong with letting other people do it. But uh, in reality, like I said, I'm only putting on some screws. I mean, same thing with this. When I finally get this on, I'm basically going to sit this on the CPU and screw it down into the motherboard. There ain't really nothing to it. But it pays a whole lot of money, though. It pays a whole lot of money. 
Let me go and pause this video, flip it over, and get some more work done. All right, guys, I'm on my next step. I got two options here, two different thermal paces. Not sure if camera even focuses. Let me sit over here to the side. Thermal compound. I actually never used a uh, cool mask. This, this is what I use. Got my own thermal paste, but I may just go with what they uh, what they recommend. What the thermal paste does is it um it keeps the temperature from uh, I guess you could say cooking the CPU. I guess you could. I guess that's a good way to put it. Uh, it may not be exactly a true statement, but it, it basically protects the CPU from uh, overheating. As y'all know, y'all start up the computer. The uh, CPU is probably going to go if you're using if you're using that stock cooler. I forget what I did with it, but the original cooler I told you was on here. If you're using that cooler more than likely, your CPU is going to be over 100 degrees hot while it's running in the computer. Uh, heels was running at about 140, I think he told me 140 degrees, up to like 200 degrees. We're talking about Fahrenheit, by the way. So that's maybe about, what, 39 degrees Celsius. So hopefully with this new computer, we're going to, uh, not new computer, but new cooler, we can uh, bring them temperatures down to about 40 degrees. Maybe we can hit 30 degrees, and uh, it'll basically be a brand new computer.